Hello, this is Jay Mahaffey from Bayer Scott Learning Center in Scott, Mississippi. I thought we'd take a few minutes today and talk about some of the considerations that go into making decisions about how to best use plant growth regulators on Delta Pine cotton varieties during 2020. There are several things about cotton production that are unique to the crop. Number one, we, we need to understand how the plant is developing over time. Also, mepoquat chloride is available in a lot of different formulations. One of those being stance from Bayer. We've engaged a process of trying to evaluate it and, and use it in our a lot of our plot work there on the Learning Center. Mepoquat has some characteristics that should be considered and acknowledged in the decision making process. Number one, at least the effect of Mepoquat is long lasting in the plant, it's not degraded in the plant. It's also active at a dry weight concentration. What that means is since it's not degraded, if I put some on early, it's in there later. And also, uh, since it's active at a dry weight concentration, if uh, the bigger plant I have, the more I have to apply to get the growth control reaction. The response of Mepoquat, uh, response of plants to Mepoquat is interactive with a lot of different factors. The rates that have been applied, the timing of those rates and the application timing during the season is very important. The plant size is, of course, important, and the previous applications that have been applied should be acknowledged in the decision-making process. When we start looking at how plants are developing, this inner node that's four to five from the top, the one that bends like I'm bending this plant over here in the, in the right-hand picture, that inner node is most indicative of how the field's been growing for about three days. If you look at that inner node and the two or three inner nodes below it, I get about 10 days' worth of growth history very easily in my hand. From that, I can see if the field is, is uh, accelerate, the growth in the field is accelerating, uh, if it's slowing down, or if it's, it's constant. If I see that, that that inner node is shorter than the two below it, then I know growth has slowed down, and I probably ought to figure out why. It may be that I've applied growth control, I have a good fruit load, it's hot, it's dry, but it gives me an idea of what's happening. If I see that that inner node is, is about the same length as the two below it, then growth uh, continuing on at a pretty pretty static rate, and I need to to understand if that is an is adequate. If I see that this inner node is longer than the two below it, then growth accelerating, and I probably ought to consider applying growth control. When you do make the decision to need growth control in a given cotton field, there are a lot of other decisions to be made. Stance is a growth regulator from Bayer that is a, a relatively old product. It's been in the marketplace a while. It has some unique characteristics that have, in our plot work there on the Learning Center, have enabled us to identify it as a very strong candidate when you need growth control to apply to a cotton field. It has some unique characteristics, one of those being it has two active ingredients in it that act on two different places in the plant. Uh, it's a product that's registered in most or all of the cotton growing states in the U.S. And when you think about what it offers us as cotton producers, Number one, you have two sites of action there in the plant, and that is, is unique to stance. When we do decide that we need growth regulation, there, there are things that come along with that. Typically, when we need it, uh, we have an influence on earliness, which typically occurs because we influence the accumulation of fruit over time. There are other factors that, that a, a good, sound growth management program offers to cotton fields. Uh, one of those being less vegetative growth, reallocation of energy into to reproduction rather than vegetation, which is the ultimate goal is to grow fruit, uh, grow fruit which contains seed and fiber. Also, one of the one of the main positive characteristics of stance is the application rates. There are a lot of regions of the U.S. that have valid concerns about overapplication of PGRs in cotton fields. Cotton varieties have changed in recent times, and we currently have some concern about uh, the fact that we really do need to be somewhat more timely with, it, with PGRs in many areas of the U.S. The rate range for stance is two to four ounces per acre, which are relatively low rates. In that, it offers us the ability in areas that typically struggle some years to grow enough plant to still apply growth control at relatively low rates. So that when we need to come back, if it does rain, we do start to develop too much vegetation. We can then monitor growth. We can come back with those other rates and achieve the growth control reaction that we need to optimize yield in the field.
I believe this is food for thought. This is data that we generated in 2018 at the Learning Center. It's a regression of plant height versus yield. And what this says is about 70% of the yield variability in a cotton field is related to plant height and the inverse, uh, the relationship is inverse. In other words, when we get to about 40 inches tall, the taller the plants are past that, the lower they yield. Now there's a range in there that is acceptable when it comes to height, but this is something that we should consider when we set a target for plant height in a cotton field that we're trying to manage. If you'd like more information about this, feel free to send me an email at the address on the screen or call me directly. You can contact your local Bayer representative. They are more than willing to help uh, talk through the decisions and talk about the products that are available. We look forward to seeing you at the Learning Center this summer. Thanks.